Hey guys, this is Crowbar Zero, and today I'm going to talk about both a glass cannon uh, farming setup and a uh, glass cannon tournament setup. You know, what are, what are some of the things that you need to start making that transition? So, we'll start with uh, Chrono Field, and uh, the key with Chrono Field is you want to get basically one minute and one second of duration. And that might sound kind of intuitive because it's like, oh, well, the cooldown is one minute. Shouldn't it be one minute for the duration? But uh, the reason is there will be a slight, uh, like, one frame in between where uh, you don't actually have that uh, chrono field uptime. So you need that one extra second just to make up for that duration. So it's basically you've got that continuous. 100% all of the time uptime. And that applies to both of them. So, for um, in normal farming setups, the enemies tend to be traveling a little bit slower than they would be in tournament. So, it's been a while since uh, I've actually uh, had uh, a fairly low attack speed, but I would shoot for something around maybe like attack speed of 70 on the lower end. Maybe you can even go with uh, 65, but um, for the most part, I started to see a lot of the chips, um, which is uh, when you get hit by the small enemies and not the bosses, those started to disappear uh, significantly for me once I hit about attack speed of 83. Now, I know that uh, light speed shot was also tossed in, and that's changed up the game, so you might need less. But uh, that's kind of a rough, like, uh, well, let's see. Obviously, just go in. If you have lower attack speeds, um, test those out with a light, light speed shot and uh, see where it ends up. And if you are getting hit by your more common enemies, then uh, really crank up that uh, attack speed. All right, so this is where... Uh, <laughs> Some things are going to uh, differentiate a lot, little bit. I've already mentioned light speed shot, but uh, we're going to talk about uh, spotlight. So both uh, glass cannon and tournament setups, you're going to want uh, three beams for uh, spotlight. Um, spotlight missiles, you could get away with not having it maxed, but uh, which is basically it fires off every two seconds. But, um, you know, you, you could probably get away without it in a farming setup. Um, 40 to 45 degree of angle, I think, would probably be a relatively good spot. You're not getting too terribly expensive with uh, the angle. Um, everything should be, yeah. Um, currently, I'm running 50 degrees, and I'm probably going to be cranking that up uh, relatively soon myself. Uh, let's see. Next point, uh, <laughs> but, uh, let's see, moderately leveled, uh, smart missiles. So all the stats that, uh, as far as, like, damage, labs, all of that from smart missiles apply to spotlight missiles. So that means amp, uh, radius, all that good stuff. So... You definitely want to have um, smart missiles moderately, you know, labbed up, so that you know you're you're getting those extra effects on your spotlight missiles. And for obviously, for uh, farming setups, you're going to want a uh, black hole and uh, uh, golden tower. Um, maybe not black hole in uh, tournament, but definitely you know, still golden tower. Um, but, but this is more of like, what, what are those three things that you need to really make that shift? Um, the other thing that I mentioned for over in the, the tournament setup versus like farming setup, uh, farming I'll have like shorter ranges, um, that way the black hole can cover as much area as you possibly can, just as you can see on the screen right now. Um, I'm not covering up some of the orbs like way up here, 
which is kind of hard to see the mouse, but uh, you kind of get the point. You, you really want the, that black hole to cover up uh, your orb path. Um, not all of your kills are going to be made with those orbs, but um, with um, uh, smart missiles for farming setups, those are going to clear out some of those prods. Uh, let's see here. And then uh, ranges. So minimum range for, um, which for me right now, that will be 60 meters. Uh, but uh, for a tournament, that's going to be kind of dependent on what range you're rocking. So like right now, most people that are rocking about uh, level 14, level 15 uh, range are probably going to be running their orbs at a distance of 95. Can I use that as like a, a rough guesstimate? So when you expand out your range, um, everything looks about the same, maybe a little bit closer to the your actual range line, but otherwise, as long as it looks kind of relatively the same, and maybe there's like a, a boss's distance, or maybe a tank's distance between your two orbs, that'll probably be a good uh, distance. Um, and then we get into some of the honorable mentions. So, so this is, ideally this is more of a guide for like, how do I get into glass cannon farming? Um, you know, obviously you're not running uh, death wave at all. You're not worried about the, any extra hit points. All of your uh, hit points are from your energy shield up here. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention energy shield. Um, you want as many charges of energy shield as possible. That is your lifeline, and that recharges very, very slowly. So I think it's a... Uh, if you have no wave acceleration or wave skip, that's about... Uh, 15 waves until you can get it uh, recharged, roughly. Um, so you definitely can't take frequent hits. Oh, back to the honorable mentions. Uh, so there's a, an advanced strategy. So this is once, once you get your uh, econ up really good, so maybe you're making uh, one trillion every couple days or maybe on the daily, <laughs> you're going to want to look into this. So right now, there's a strategy called Forbes, which is basically, I'm going to back this off here, let's see. So that would be roughly, for tournament setup, you would want about uh, 510 seconds, or for your normal farming setups, you're probably going to want about 504 seconds, and that would be uh, 10 seconds of wall anvil, as high as you can get the thorns on the wall, and uh, yeah, there's a big thing. So basically, the boss comes in, ba 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 ba, hits that wall just as it respawns, and you've got that 10 seconds where it can just sit there on the wall and click on your thorns. So you've got one round of it's hitting the wall and it's just the wall is surviving because of invul. The second round the boss comes in, one and shots your wall, and then hopefully that extra damage um, between your plasma cannon and let's say you had 20% uh, thorns on that wall, which takes a long time to get. Um, you know, you're looking at, what is it, you've done 74% damage to the boss already and you just need that uh, remaining, uh, what is it? 26%, which is not too bad. Um, and then the following round, you would not have your wall up at all. And then it would kind of restart uh, the following round. Um, there's a lot of variations in it. And word is that uh, there's probably going to be a nerf coming for this strategy coming up soon. So take that strategy kind of with a, a grain of salt literally tomorrow that strategy could be poof gone um honorable mentions um i'm gonna put uh, inner landmines as kind of higher up on that currently uh, just because uh with thorbs sometimes the the inner landmines just because there, there's variations sometimes and sometimes uh making sure that you've got inner landmines to stun 
the boss before the, the wall respawns can be super helpful. So for that you want uh, 6 quantity and you want to lab the rotation speed as high as you possibly can. Another honorable mention for glass cannon is poison swamp. So that's kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> I do use it for um, tournaments and the very very end of uh, farming setups, but it seems like um, light speed shot has kind of nullified some of the, the points of Poison Swamp. The, the big points of it in previous versions was crowd control, so that uh, the fast enemies and your ranged enemies wouldn't be as threatening, um, and you wanted to stun max all the stuff uh, for that. Nowadays it's like, well, light speed shot kind of covers that area. It was originally supposed to be more of like a, a glitch patch, but it seems like it opened up um, some extra opportunities, so the need for Poison Swamp isn't as great as it used to be. Um, still useful, I find it towards the, the tail end of farming, and as far as tournaments, I'm not sure how much it's progressing currently, um, or progressing me in tournament, but um, you know, it, it can sometimes slow down uh, the enemy's approach towards um, towards me, which could be working my benefit as far as giving me extra time for my uh, smart missiles to go off or um, uh, working against me if I want uh, the enemy to camp out and die on uh, my wall. The other thing that's always important to look at when it comes to um, these setups. <laughs> And I realized that I'm in the middle of a match that's not going all that well, so I'll just cancel out of it so you can see the tournament one. Uh, for farming, I'll have wave skip just to get through things faster, but it's not needed per se. Uh, damage, ultimate crit I have in there, coins, energy net. Energy net's going to give you a little bit more time to shoot the enemy and hopefully get um, your smart missiles off on the boss. Critical Coins, obviously, Plasma Cannon, that's going to take a huge chunk of the boss's health out. Definitely want that. Critical Chance, <laughs> uh, that's going to be really, really nice. Attack Speed to juggle the enemies. Berserker will give you even more damage. Extra Orbs, Energy Shield, this is your life. You definitely want this. Um, Cash is super helpful just so that you can buy out uh, everything that you need. Slow aura, you want to slow the enemies as they're coming towards you. Super tower gets a little bit more damage on your normal shots, but I, I would say that it's not needed per se, uh, especially with um, uh, smart missiles doing most of the, uh, the damage. Enemy balance, you're going to want a lot of enemies, you're going to want to be killing enemies as quickly and as many of them as you possibly can. And then wave acceleration, just so you can get through all the waves uh, as quickly as possible. Now some of these things are not needed per se, obviously not a lot of people are going to have the ultimate crit card. Um, so, you know, when you get it, that's a great one to use. Uh, let's see. <laughs> as far as uh, not having a good run, you can see where that uh, came from. Uh, let's see. And then for my tournament setup, um, if you're running Thorbs, you're probably not going to want uh, Wave Skip. But I like Wave Skip just to get through the whole tournament a lot faster. Um, well, you can definitely take that off if need be. Free ups, that's really important to be able to get everything as maxed out as quickly as possible. Uh, namely, the um, enemy health uh, level skips, having those will help um, you know get you kind of started. Plus having a higher chance of your free utility up, buffing your uh, enemy health level skips. Critical chance, cash. 
demon mode that's given landmine stun you're trying to kind of slow the enemy's approach where you can you're probably not going to get this triggering very often but you know you take whatever you can um, attack speed obviously for shooting and juggling enemies as much as possible damage orbs plasma cannon Super tower, obviously not needed per se, but you know I'll take the damage where I can get it. Uh, energy shield, again your life. Second wind, um, between um, demon mode and second wind, uh, that'll each one will probably carry you an extra 100, 200, maybe 300 waves uh, whenever you proc them. So it's uh, I find it's very useful. Uh, Berserker Death Ray. So Death Ray I don't use in my farming setups because oftentimes it can kill enemies that are um, not in your black hole. So you want to uh, make sure you're killing enemies that are in your coin machine. Energy Net again to slow the boss down and same thing with slower. Hopefully that covers it. Um, I hope you guys uh, Learn something, got something out of it, hopefully give you some things to look forward to is like, hey, you know, this thing's doable. You know, it's only really three ultimate weapons that I really need to go for. And that's uh Chronofield, that smart missiles, which I should probably order it and uh when you should get them. Uh smart missiles, uh spotlight, and then chronofield. Anyway. I will catch you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed.